Pamela Anderson has made plenty of controversial choices over the years, including getting married multiple times under iffy circumstances. And now she's done it again. On January 20th, 2020, the former Baywatch star married a Star Is Born producer John Peters during a secret ceremony in Malibu. These two reportedly started dating 30 years ago, and after getting back together just a few months ago, they decided to tie the knot. Anderson's son, Brandon Thomas Lee, star of The Hills' New Beginnings, shared his thoughts about the surprising union to Fox News, saying, "...I'm incredibly happy for my mom and John. They've known each other for over 35 years, and I wish them luck in this next chapter of their lives together. I will support the happy couple however I can, and I'm excited to get to know John's family even better." Anderson marked the occasion on Twitter two days after the ceremony by simply sharing a photo of herself and her new husband years ago, when he proposed, but she said no because he was 20 years older than her. Peter shared his thoughts as well, telling The Hollywood Reporter, "...there are beautiful girls everywhere. I could have my pick, but for 35 years, I've only wanted Pamela. She makes me wild, in a good way." A secret wedding certainly is wild, but it's not the first time the actress has said I do under shocking circumstances. Pamela Anderson first shocked the world with a surprise wedding in 1995 when she tied the knot with Motley Crue drummer Tommy Lee just 96 hours after their first date. Even the actress's mother was stunned, telling people, "...this was the first I'd heard of him. It is heartbreaking and shocking." Now you divorced Tommy Lee, yeah. and then you married him again? I do that. While things ultimately didn't work out between Anderson and Lee, he apparently wishes her the best now. A source told Hollywood Life, "...nothing will ever be the same for Tommy when it comes to his relationship with Pam. It was a once-in-a-lifetime relationship with once-in-a-lifetime experiences, but so much time has passed that what Tommy hopes for Pam, the mother of his children, now is that she is in a happy place with her new husband, because if she wasn't, then there would be hell to pay." Anderson stuck with the theme of unexpected marriage ceremonies in July 2006 when she tied the knot with Kid Rock. While guests called the event a real rock and roll wedding, it also wasn't legal, reported People. The nuptials went down on a yacht in Saint Tropez. The bride wore white, as in a white string bikini. To be legally binding, the couple needed to have a civil ceremony in the government building. Perhaps that's why Anderson told the press that she planned to marry Kid Rock again, and again, and again, and again. She told People, "...I'm going to get married a few times this month to the same guy. We had to do Malibu, we've got to do Detroit, and we've got to do Nashville." Committing to spending the rest of their lives together via multiple weddings didn't help the pair's chances, and by February 2007, Rock and Anderson had broken up. Here's the living alone! alone. Woo! <laughs> Not so fast. Anderson got hitched to professional poker player Rick Solomon in October 2007, but annulled the marriage two months later. You may recognize Solomon as the man who was featured in, and sold, Paris Hilton's infamous sex tape. In January 2014, they walked down the aisle for the second time, but Anderson later filed for divorce in July 2014, only to change her mind, then file for divorce again in February 2015. Before marrying John Peters in January 2020, Anderson was rumored to be involved with, believe it or not, Julian Assange, the man in the middle of the WikiLeaks scandal. The two never officially confirmed that there was anything romantic going on between them, but Anderson did comment on their friendship via a post on the Pamela Anderson Foundation website, writing, "...I'm also not shocked that this may be interpreted and reduced to just a sexual relationship." That is the easiest perception, and appeals to the tabloids, takes into account my image. It may be hard to imagine for some that I have other assets of equal or greater value." Here's hoping that Anderson's new husband appreciates those other assets, and that they both live happily ever after. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.